What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, came in this room, and there's all those uh, new boys or new bosses in this room, and I decided to do the puzzle legitimately. Everyone I've ever seen do this puzzle before would just like come in here and go screw all this, and they would just use Din's fire and kill them all. But what you would actually have to do is you stand on that switch that activates a fire on this pedestal right over here. And then you'd have to like use the hover boots to try and maneuver the nubuses into the fire. And I did that, and it was actually a lot more fun, and I don't see why everybody does that. Eric doesn't do that. In this episode, we're gonna probably finish off the temple. Um, I say that's sad because it's one of the last temples in the game. The last official temple. Well, I guess second last official temple. Um, alright. Blue switch. That probably means that's the. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that again, actually. Okay, so. All these statues are alive, and you want to act- No! I didn't want to step on that again! <sighs> Alright. So you want to get- Oh boy, I might not make it in time! Come on, go! Oh, holy crap, that scared the heck out of me! Oh. Oh. Thank you, statue. You have made a noble sacrifice. Okay, so that could be extremely difficult if you don't get it at first, and if you don't, I would seriously suggest just like, you might as well just exit the room and come back so those guys go back to being dead. Let's see if I can get this better as a Link. Um, last ep- no, two episodes ago, so not the last episode, but the episode before that, I also figured out that. If you position the camera just right, we can see inside these, and we did catch a glimpse of some red shimmering hair. And, yeah, I discovered that there are actually Gerudos inside these, these assholes. Freaking assholes. You see the glimpse of red, that, I'm assuming that's her hair, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, so let's just kill her, put her out of her misery. Um, one thing I didn't show last time either is she had to break the throne too, which is really freaking cool. I want, oh boy. I One thing I am actually kind of curious about, actually there's two things. One, does that work? Does this work? Does Megaton Hammer work? I think that's all I wanted to try. Ah! Well, that was a really bad shot. Let's try that again. Doesn't look like that works. Let's see if this works. I just kind of really want to experiment. Oh yeah, I also want to see if my shield would work against him. Oh, that does seem to work. What about you? That does seem to work as well. And finally... Will my shield protect me against the dreaded asshole? Uh, hearts please. Alright, um... I guess I can't. No, I can't! Put, put it away. Put it away, Link. There we go. Nope. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. But, I, you know, sometimes with these games, it's like... Sometimes shields can defend against really stupid attacks. Okay. We need to get into a rhythm again. So, the cheap way to fight these guys... Actually, no, let's try to beat them without being cheap about it. Although, I mean, using the big Goron Sword in itself is pretty cheap. Yeah, that was pretty cheap. <laughs> that's okay, that's not the last one we'll be seeing in this game. You can see the hearts coming. Gross. Alright. Uh, I also really wish there was a way to destroy these. I really like in Wind Waker when you defeat enemies with, like, weapons. You could actually... Well, not keep their weapons, but, you know, you get their weapons. Oh, actually. Where's the last sculpture in this place? One sec, I wanna... Oh, no, never mind, we got all of them. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot we, we already got all of them. For some reason, I'm like, wait... My notes say there's a sculpture on the room with an iron knuckle or something like that, but no. Not the room with the iron knuckle, it's, as a kid, though, that one, that iron knuckle. There's a sculpture in one of those rooms, and yay, the treasure chest falls. I guess the reason why they fall is, like, if we got that one, we couldn't come back here, or we couldn't just, like, you know, go back there as a, an adult or something and just hook over here. Although, actually, basically, well, no, you could, you could do that. Yeah, so I guess that would kind of be the cheap way of doing this. It might be too far away, to be honest. Actually, let's see. We got the mirror shield! The shield's pulsar. The shield's pulsar for can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. That is really freaking cool. Um, yeah. So, it, it's really weird when I see people with the shield, because I've never personally seen the shield ever. And by the way, I really loved how the shield looked when we, when we first took it out there. It looked like there was a starry sky. It looked really freaking cool. Like, holy crap. For some reason, it doesn't stay that way with the rest of the game. I'm assuming because it would probably take too much, like, processing power or something crazy like that. Oh, we can reach. Yeah, so there we go. That's exactly why we can't. Um, 
Can I get back, please? <laughs> That's exactly why the chest fall this guy, so you can't just do this and then immediately get the mirror shield. I guess they could have put it farther away, but I mean, watch some asshole like use the hover boots to, like run across and then like quickly grab onto it. It'd probably be very difficult, but it's probably possible. 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 Alright, now we have the mirror shield. Yay! We did it! Um, oh. Ooh, there's chests in here. I did not even see that. Uh, put that there. Probably should have just taken off my fire arrows or my din fire, to be honest, because let's face it, we don't need either of those. Uh, these are both gonna be recovered hearts. So this is gonna freeze my ass. Yay! That's kind of nice that they give you a recovery heart. I mean, they could have obviously just put pots there, but it's cool that they're different about sometimes. Are, are all these assholes alive? They are. Dude, I'm getting sick of your bullshit switch. Your bullshit switch. I hate it when people touch my bullshit switch. Aw, oh, man. Maybe not a good idea, actually. Not all these assholes are going to accidentally step on there. Explosions! Are they all going to drop bombs? No. One of them didn't. Wow. Didn't even drop a dang thing. Ow. I totally thought I could beat that spike trap. Okay, so the real annoying thing once you get the real Mueller shield is you have to put away your sword each and every time before you use it. Um, you know what? Let's just equip this at this point. We still have to worry about that. And yay! And that freaking two frame smile again. Two frame from the normal face to the smiley face. What is this? Oh, it's a key, isn't it? Where did we see a locked door? I don't even remember. Let's take. Oh, yeah, that new mystery. Are those assholes gonna respawn? They might. It feels like the Anubis room was so far away <laughs> so long ago, but no, it's this room right here. Are they back? Are the assholes back? They are not. Good to know. Is, uh, can I seriously not read this? It really bugs me that I can't read this. I can't. Alright. Moving on. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. Um, oh yeah, then there's this room. You know what? I'm gonna also try to do this room legitimately. That's another thing I've never done before, or, you know, seen really done before. I, I probably have. Um, so, yeah, let's try it out. So, most what most people can do is just take out their hookshot and pretty much hookshot right to the top. Ooh, there's a spider up there. Sure, glad I saw that. I'm trying to think of Lukajin on her blind let's play this game. I'm pretty sure she tried, she got hit by that spider, and then whoever was gets competing with her was just like, you know you could just hookshot down, right? Oh, and you can climb up and fall down, I see. Alright. Holy crap! What?! What even happened?! I don't know why I feel the need to be really legitimate all of a sudden, but I do. Oh boy. Oh, it's because I can't climb when, when they're moving, I see. Well, I've made a terrible mistake. I have. Uh, let's just, might as well go to the right while we're waiting. Oops. <laughs> so very scary. Alright. Uh, okay, that does come off. For some reason, I keep thinking, like, oh, it only goes one way! <gasps> Holy crap. Probably a bad idea. Okay, I was gonna say, you know, if I failed there, I would have probably said screw it and just like, shut it up. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just might as well show that too? Because, you know, why not? Let's jump back down. Whee! And then. How far can this actually go? Yeah, you go right to the top pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. I kind of feel like that was intentional. This still could be like. We let the players either figure out they could do this or the wall have to do it the hard way. And by the way, what the heck is all this on the wall? I mean, maybe they're supposed to be skeletons or something, but it seems so out of place. Like the Shadow Temple, it makes sense. It's a graveyard. Bull this is seriously, this is one of the things in the games I find really creepy. Why are these weird faces here? They, I don't even think they really look like skulls. They just look like weird, deformed faces, right? Oh, I'm trying to get a better look without getting all pixelated. I mean, just that's pretty pixelated. <laughs> Try to stand far back enough away, but like you know, give you guys a good look. What is that supposed to be? Why is that there? I mean, there's supposed to be faces, but why is that there? I don't know. I don't know if that's in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure that's in the big statue. I was watching Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play. 
uh, once again, bring that up. <laughs> and he said, or he didn't even mention it. I was like, why has no one mentioned this before? I kind of feel like there's actually been discussion on that before. I've never looked it up or anything, but I kind of feel like people would, that would be some people would talk about. But I don't, it's so out of place to me. It's like, this isn't supposed to be a scary place. Why is that there? Ooh, there's two, which way do I want to go? Well, looks like I want to go this way. Ramp, I do gotta say, looks like I wanna go this way. I wanna go this way. I wanna go this way when I let's play. I don't know why everybody sings when they let's play. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things. It's like, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just gonna sing. And that's also, you know, something I've probably brought up many, many times in the past. I actually was just catching up on my, um... Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bottom Race with uh, Max and Emil. Um, since uh, we recorded a whole bunch of episodes like a long time ago and his, his footage got corrupted and didn't record properly or something, I don't think any of these doors actually gonna me anything, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. Ooh, there's a switch in there. Neat. And for a second, I thought I heard a floor master, but it turned out to be the fire. Whoopsies! Is there anything at all? Is that, is that it? Is that it? That might be it. Yay, I have completed all the things. Um, but yeah. Oh crap, why was why did I bring that up again? Uh, playing Battle Oh yeah! I'm playing Battle for Beauty Bottom, catching up, and to make sure I wasn't getting anything that I... What did that do? Oh, I created another one. Oh. There's a hookshot target up there. And to make sure I didn't, like, you know, collect anything I didn't have in the verses, or not get something that I did get in the verses, I was watching my videos. And I realized watching those videos that I repeat things a lot. Like, not in the same episodes, but, like, I must have asked Matt three times if he, he'd played the SpongeBob SquarePants um, movie video game. And I also asked him if he had a Wii U, like, two or three times the span of that eight episode series so far and it's like really man i have a terrible short-term memory so it's just really frustrating a lot and i kind of feel like that would only probably frustrate other people if um if they watched all those episodes in a row or something maybe it won't even frustrate anybody maybe i'm just being too uh type of critical of myself you know i probably am Ooh, what's down here and Oh no, I wanted all those pots! I wanted all of them! I could use all these hearts and that magic. Thank you very much, game. And yeah, there's, this is another one of those rooms with the faces on the wall. No, they're also up there as well. Are they upside down? Well, the pattern's upside down. The faces, however, are not. Oh, maybe they are. I guess it is kind of like a reversible pattern. I mean, that top face on the post is also kind of scary. But it's not really out of place. There's a bottom one. Actually, I guess they are all kind of creepy faces, aren't they? But I mean, those don't really look out of place. Those look tribal. Which, you know, makes sense for, like, you know, a Middle Eastern kind of temple. And yeah, another one of these puzzles where you spin attack through the fence, which is kind of cheaty in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I guess not really cheaty, but I kind of feel like that shouldn't have been a game mechanic since... Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I mean... Yeah. It, it doesn't really fit in with the game, I guess, or something. Yeah. Anyways, there's a freaking face up there. I do not know. Oh, I was gonna say I do not know where that appeared, but here, here it is, right, right, in my freaking face. Quick question. Ooh, bombs. I wonder what I got those for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I actually don't know. I missed one. I must go back and get it. I also missed a freaking passage in there somehow. Uh, bubbles. Do you say anything different for these bubbles? White bubble. Aim for it when it stops. I can't. He's too high in the sky. Nope. I guess he wasn't. Ah! Eh, 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 I tried. Eh, no! Why'd you attack that way, Link? Link! You butt! You butt munch! You butt munch! Why am I stuck? Oh, that's weird. I stopped moving there. Huh. Alrighty then. Uh, is there any faces in here? Any sun faces? Any two frame sun faces? Does not appear to be so. All whitey, Dan. Eh, oh, you know what? This is a pretty sneaky sneak. If you look at the map, you see there's a passageway this way. And there's no crack in the wall, but there is a crease in the wall that you can see that like kind of boulders out a bit. I guess that's the way to figure out that. Oh, you can move that. Ah, Lizalfos! You butthead. Come here with your little sword. Yeah, 
I guess you do fight these as an adult, but I, I feel like this is probably the only time to do that. And they're really weak as an adult. I feel like I probably would have one hit with hit them with the bigger one sword. Um, did I do the thing? I did the thing. <laughs> I was like, did I do that right? Yes, I did. And there's no faces in this room either. Do -do 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 -do. Now the question is, when I go through this door, will it save the fact that I had shot a light through this door? Yes, it did. Cool. Yay! It's just so weird when that happens because it's like in most games when you go through a room and it like not doesn't load it anymore. Oh, oh yeah. The mirror shoots the light down here. And I'm gonna get hit by some of those. Yeah. Or not. Oh, don't need that magic! Aw oh, man. Well, I tried. <laughs> and yay! Well, I actually thought I was gonna finish the game, I mean the temple in this episode, but apparently not. This is very ominous, and probably the perfect thing to cliffhang on. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time, and I hate when the camera does that. Stop the camera. Wish there was a lock. Wish there was a way to lock it, but there's not. If you guys enjoyed, please free feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and in the next episode, we will actually for real finish the temple and beat the boss. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!